Gesso and the Five Myths. Gesso is a primer that is used to stop the paint soaking into the substrate or canvas. Historically, gesso is a combination of rabbit skin glue and chalk. They didn't have much of a choice for glue back then. I've heard that this original gesso is brittle and will crack if used on canvas. It was mostly used on wood panels. You hear the word gesso today, it is the acrylic polymer instead of the bunny glue that was used historically. Number one, do you really need it? The reason you don't need to gesso is that the canvases come ready gessoed. I've never actually seen a raw canvas pre-assembled ready to go. They may be available, but I've never seen it. Uh, so in the case, if, you, if you're ever in question as to whether the canvas has gesso on it, just flip to the back and you can see the folded over section where it's stapled is quite white. But then the, in behind here, you can see this is raw canvas and has not got any uh, gesso on that. Even the cheap dollar store canvas boards have gesso on it. I have in cases used raw canvas. This is a homemade one where um, it's been assembled. And then I've used a very wet acrylic paint directly on the raw canvas without using uh, a gesso. I started working on a raw canvas using spray bottles with a very thin down acrylic paint. Uh, by oversaturating the canvas with paint, it allowed the colors to blend and mix together in a very nice soft transition. The dark was supposed to be a blue, but because of that excess amount of water, the pigments used to mix that blue separated and the titanium white sunk below the canvas, leaving a mix of the th burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, which makes it black. On this particular canvas, I did re but with this particular kind of gesso, and this is a gesso, a water absorbent ground, and I made my own just using gesso mixed in with baking soda. This gives me something somewhere in between a raw canvas and a gessoed canvas. There is some bleed amongst the paint when it's very wet, but it still allows a crisp edge. In this painting, I also re-gessoed the surface, but using a canvas colored gesso. This could have been done with a canvas colored paint, but I didn't worry about it in this case because the lines that you see here are actually graphite, which meant that I had to seal this canvas after the effect to lock in the, both the graphite and to make sure the gesso was sealed. So there are some reasons to re-gesso a canvas, but not white. You're re gessoing for a reason. This is the biggest myth. The fact that gesso will help your paint stick uh, to a greasy or dirty surface. So this is what acrylic paint's made up of. A pigment, in this case yellow ochre, and a gel medium or a polymer medium. It's the only part of the paint that sticks. So gessos made up of the same ingredients plus the addition of chalk. So one more thing that doesn't stick. So in actual fact, gesso will stick less well than acrylic paint. So here we just have white gesso instead of the yellow ochre, we have a titanium white pigment. Same thing, less stick, more powder. You want to make a cheap gesso? You cut back on the titanium white. Those are the ones that have a little bit of a gray look to it. You want to make a really cheap gesso, you cut back on the polymer medium and the titanium white. Then you got something that barely sticks. So there's nothing in gesso that is going to help it stick better. And if anything, it's got less stick. We could just as easily use white paint to seal the surface, but gesso is a bit cheaper and it does leave you with a little bit more tooth than white paint would. Now here's the proof. The top row is in blue is gesso with a little bit of phthalo blue so we can see it. And below that is a magenta paint. And in each of the columns I've put fat, oil, and wax. I put a liberal amount of fat, oil, and wax on there, much more than you'd ever get on a regular dirty canvas. Uh, at the oil I actually had to wipe some off because it was actually dripping. Uh, and then I thinned the blue gesso uh, a little bit and then thinned it some more. 
and the same with the paint. I thinned it and then thinned it a bit more. The top row is actually straight out of the tube or straight out of the jar. In this first column, you can see that none, neither the gesso nor the paint stuck well to the fat column. The second column with the oil was a little bit surprising how well the paint stuck. It could be that I wiped some of the oil off, but it's still not a surface that I would trust. The wax in the last column was very similar to the fat in the first column. None of it really seemed to stick. So the lesson here is if your canvas is dirty or has wax or anything on it, clean it. Do not expect the paint to stick and especially don't expect the gesso to stick. Now the third myth is using gesso instead of white paint. Some do this to save money. I do it when the in-laws are coming over. I cut the gravy with sawdust just to save a little. Gesso is about 25% cheaper than a liquid or high viscosity titanium white. Chalk and gesso is going to leave the surface a little more porous and also have a more matte finish. To fix this, we'd actually have to put a, some sort of medium on top to even out the gloss and seal the surface, pretty much negating any savings that you had. The fourth myth is that you should use gesso before you repaint. Gesso does one thing, it seals the canvas. A reused canvas is already sealed. Two samples, one painted with white gesso, one painted with black paint. Both you can see the underlying brush marks from the previous painting. This texture often has a way of showing up in a very undesirable spot of the new painting. If you are going to reuse a canvas, Paint a background color that's going to be useful in the painting and something with a busy enough subject matter that you won't see those underlying brush marks from the previous painting. This painting started with a black background, so that'd be the color I'd choose if I was going to reuse a canvas for this piece. Rather than just using gesso or paint to change the color of the canvas, I'll use the gesso or a molding paste to create a texture. This way that texture is going to hide any of the previous painting marks. This painting was done on a similar texture technique shown in the previous slide. In this case, the finer texture at the top was done with a molding paste rather than the gesso, but both would work. There are cases where you may want to use gesso. In the case of photorealists, they want a very smooth texture, so they'll gesso, sand, gesso, sand just to get rid of the canvas texture that most painters really look for in a canvas. Sometimes I do make my own canvases so I can get an extra coarse canvas because most uh, commercially available pre-made canvases are a fine grained uh, canvas. Rather than re-gessoing a canvas that already has gesso on it, stop wasting your time, your money and get painting. If you like this or found this useful, check out my books and my other videos.